good evening, and I too want to thank the City Club and the citizens of Springfield and Sagamon County for having us here tonight. It's great to be back in Springfield visiting with the people. As you know, I'm from Bloomington, Illinois, which is where I uh, met my wife, Nancy. We decided to raise our children and build a business. Back then, we had an opportunity, an opportunity, frankly, that doesn't fully exist in this state today because we have a state that's not working for the people of Illinois. I truly believe it takes a businessman to apply business sense to running our state. The difference between me and the other gentleman up here just isn't the issues, but it's who not just talks the talk, but who has walked the walk, who has acted accordingly, who has the track record. The number one issue is taxes. If we are going to keep jobs in Illinois, we have to cut the tax burden on families and businesses. Throughout my legislative career, I've proven that I'm not just going to talk about cutting taxes, but I'll sign pledges. I'll commit to you, the voters of Illinois, that I will deliver. I will deliver to make Illinois a competitive place to live and work so that we can keep jobs in Illinois. My track record is clear. It's not just clear on taxes. It's clear on our Second Amendment rights. It's clear on the culture of corruption and calling for the fumigation of the Bogoyevich Retsko regime and appointees. It's clear on protecting life. Ladies and gentlemen, we as a party have a chance to elect a governor, a Republican governor, but it's going to take the strongest candidate possible. I look forward to working with you to be that candidate and make sure we return Illinois to a state of opportunity. State where people will have their job and we will grow more jobs. Thank you.